welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a super exciting video. I'm going to be talking all about my Erin Condren planner and I'm just going to do like a quick walkthrough of the planner, kind of review it, tell you guys my thoughts on it and um, show you all the new features because as you guys know, the Erin Condren planner has been updated and I've spent a lot of time looking through this planner and you guys, it looks really good. They did a great job. So, okay. So I'm just gonna cover up because I did order my planner with my school name on it. So I'm just gonna cover that up. But this is the planner that I purchased and you guys can totally see my ring light. I'm gonna actually flip it off just to see what the lighting's like without it. Ooh, hello. Okay, so the planner itself is like an ombre teal blue pink to purple color with metallic hearts on it. And I'm actually gonna flip this back on and just maybe turn it down a little bit. There we go. Okay, so I also got Mrs. Charlotte Valdez on the front as well as my school name. I got the silver binding, but you can upgrade to different colored bindings if you choose. I think they have rose gold, uh, regular gold. I think they have black, I'm not positive. But I really, really love teal and purple. Those are my two favorite colors. So I thought that this would be perfect. And again, this is kind of what it looks like. Okay, so inside the planner, you have the normal little like pad here that you can write on. And I did get the dry erase markers that come with this planner just so that I could actually utilize this. And then I also got the little to-do list. I thought that that was really nice. Um, and again, you can use the whiteboard markers. I actually have them right here. I haven't tried them out yet, but you can get the little whiteboard dry erase markers to go with your planner if you'd like. And then it has the regular, this belongs to, and then it has your All About Me and your classroom events and volunteers. Um, and I just put my team teachers here just so that if I did, I don't know who would leave their planner with a sub, but just in case, it's fun to fill out anyways. Um, and then at the beginning, they have all of the communication logs in here, which I really like, even though I use Class Dojo, I really like being able to write it down. So they have those, and I'm wondering how many pages. So there's one, so there's actually only two pages of communication, one and two. Okay, and then next you have a year-long overview, and it just has all of the months and the dates. And this goes all the way up until, I like to order mine up until June of the next year, so it goes all the way from July to June of the next year. Next you have an overview where you can write down things in each of the months and I like that because if you have like a school event or something you don't want to forget or like birthdays you can put your students birthdays in here and just be looking there for your birthdays that's what I like to use it for. Then you've got your graph paper or your grid. Sometimes I like to do like a classroom layout on here or seating chart and I like to draw it in, out in pencil and then you can just edit it later. You can use this for all kinds of stuff, data, whatever you'd like to use it for. But I like that they gave you one, two, three, four, four pages of graph paper. And then you also have your notes pages and there's one, two, three, oh, one, two, regular just lined pages, and then it goes into your monthly overview. So on this side, you have just like a plain piece. So maybe if you're doing staff meeting notes in this, you could write your meeting notes here, and then you would know what your July meetings were about. You also have this half a page of notes, and then also dates to remember. So like I said, if you're gonna use this at a staff meeting, you can just write all of your information from your meeting here on these pages and then you don't need to like keep a separate notebook because I don't know about you guys, but I don't take a lot of notes in meetings. And then if I do, I'm like using up a notebook with like four pages in it the whole year and it's kind of just a waste of the notebook. So that's what I plan on using these pages for. And then you also have your monthly calendar. So this is for like, if you have a staff meeting, you can write that down in here. If you've got like curriculum night, you could do that in here. I have my dates for my new teacher training. So this is still July. And then you have notes as well. Now what I like about this planner in uh, comparison to the old layout, they have the month 
planning pages right there after your monthly after your monthly layout and they have all of the dates already numbered and labeled for you so they have monday july 2nd tuesday july 3rd they didn't uh, label the class or subjects at the top which is great because some people like to organize their planner by like okay if you do spelling in the morning you put spelling first then language then vocab then whatever however you like it but i really like how they label it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and the actual date that it will be. That's so helpful because I remember going back in my old Erin Condren planner and having to write that down and then I'd mess up or like I'd skip a day and I'd have to go back. But I love that this is already done for you. So I'll just kind of do like a close up on that. So they have that layout for every single month and they have all of the different days already labeled for you guys, which is amazing. I'm trying to make sure, okay. And then at the end of each month, you have two more pages of worth of notes. So like I said, if you're wanting to take notes for that month or keep track of something, you can do that on these pages. So then it just repeats for every month. Like I said, you have the monthly overview and then you have your lesson planner um, pages right directly behind that month. So in the old planner, it was the monthly layouts, and then you had your lesson planning pages in the back. This is way more friendly. You can just keep everything in the same spot. Then at the very end, once you get past June, you've got your checklist pages, which another thing I really like. One of the things I like to do with grading is I like to take this home or use this to create my um, grading checklist and then I take the grades from this and enter them on the computer because then I can just go straight down the list of student names. I don't have to like search through and it's already done in alphabetical order here. So they give you, let me count. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven pages worth of checklists. And this whole thing is one page is what I'm counting because it like has a ton of different places and they're color coded. So if you wanted to do like pink is reading, yellow is writing, they have it all color coded for you too. And there's enough spaces for there's enough spaces for over 30 students. So if you're in a state where you have a large classroom size like me, there's enough spaces here for every student. Then in the back, they provide you with tons of cute little stickers, little motivational, inspirational quotes, and they have all kinds of stickers here included in your planner, in addition to the ones you probably already purchased or are going to purchase. I love that. And then at the back, they have the little folder that you can keep in there as well for any loose pieces. And I believe the other side is a folder as well. And then they have one more whiteboard kind of material. They do have the, um, the slip cover. So if you wanted to put anything in here that you wanted, like maybe this is where you're putting your seating chart and you wanna take it out and remove it and, and put a new one in. And then on the back, they have the other whiteboard um, writing thing. So I'm actually going to test my markers out on this page and on my to-do list just because I want to see how good the markers actually are. Okay, so they come with blue, black, purple, and like a corally pink. So I'm just going to test out the black marker. Okay, so they write really smooth and really fine point. I really like that. And then I am gonna see how well they erase with just my finger. Okay, so they don't erase right off the bat with my finger. Probably gonna need a tissue or some kind of like, I like to just use hand sanitizer on a tissue and I just wipe it. So that's really nice because if I do want something that I wanna keep here, it won't rub off when I turn the page. So I'm gonna do that to the to-do list as well. Okay, so I just wrote <laughs> film planner review, and again, I'm gonna test to see if it comes off. Okay, so it only smudged a little bit, but I literally just wrote it, and after a while, it does stop smudging. So again, you would just use like sanitizer or some kind of wet wipe, and it would come right off. So overall, this is like, this is the best planner yet. I've had two, no, I've had, 
I've had three or four Erin Condren planners, one for every school year. I didn't have one for last school year, but I did do the life planner. And I think that they did a really good job updating this planner and made it more user and teacher friendly. So if you guys are interested in getting your own Erin Condren planner, you can use my link down below and you can get $10 off your first planner. And they ship within like a couple of days or like even a week after ordering. And they have tons of different um, covers and you can actually customize. You can like upload photos and obviously the price goes up a little bit, but this planner, Ooh, I just spit. This planner has been updated really well, so I definitely recommend it. In the past, I wasn't a huge, huge fan, but I would get it anyways. Now, I'm actually planning to use this planner. It's a lot more friendly. So, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to go use my code, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys!